Okay. Skeet Davidson is back at it again. Mm -hmm. So I put him on a death watch because I thought after Kim Kardashian it would commit suicide. Right. I really did. And he was right. close. Right. Uh, showed up at, uh, I think it was the Emmys, did all of the cocaine in the room and mm -hmm. uh, got on stage and it was a super weird appearance and everything else. And I was like, ah, oh, shit, I'm right on track here. You know, and right. he's going down. And then you and I had joked about it of who he moves on to next as far as if he'll stay alive or not. And who's left? Who's left after Kim Kardashian? Uh, we were jokingly uh, talking about Giselle might be the next right. one. Or Tom would or, have been the way to, to go. Or Tom Brady, yeah. yes, to, yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to establish dominance. Mm -hmm. That he's now fucking a seven-time Super Bowl winner. Right, 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 right. Um, but she's moved on already to a, a jiu-jitsu instructor that the child uh, goes to. Uh, I guess it's the oldest boy or something like that. Mm -hmm. He goes to this jiu-jitsu instructor. He's Brazilian. She's Brazilian. Could have been Giorgio. Could have been Giorgio. It um, looks a lot, I mean, looks similar. minus like a, a short hair. Right. I mean, he could have just snuck right in there. Could have been him, not could've Brazilian, been. though. Yeah, but and I he mean. he might have picked up jiu-jitsu a little too late in life, I think. I don't know. He's, was just a, a guess. He was a wrestler. He was, but it's different. Uh -huh. Jiu-jitsu is different than wrestling, so okay. who knows? Uh -huh. uh, Delco, you ever dip a toe in a jiu-jitsu? It's not yours. Yeah, don't fucking touch Just it. Don't fucking touch it. It's Dan, mine. We've got packages here for Christmas. Delco, you ever dip a toe into uh, jujitsu? Yeah, I mean, I go to 10th Planet with Giorgio every now and then. Oh, yeah. you do? Okay. So yeah. when did he get started in it? Giorgio? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's. For like, as long as I've known him. It's wrestling adjacent. So. Uh, all right. All right. But He has but cauliflower the, ears. He sure does. But Like, in my mind, like. You're doing it, right? Who, who do you got? Do you got Giselle's boyfriend versus Giorgio? Who's winning? Uh, it depends, but I, I usually go with the wrestler, so I, I go yeah. with Giorgio. Really? Yeah. yeah. Over Giselle's boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Right. We don't know what his what his game is. So you know so I mean? now that we know the answer, then yes, that could have been him. I mean, look, one of the best jujitsu practitioners in the world, Charles Oliveira, mm -hmm. got ran over by Islam, who's sure a wrestler. Did. Sure did. Right. So maybe that's the answer. So right. then, yeah, may, may, yeah, maybe Giorgio fucked this all up. All he had to do was just open up his own 10th planet uh, in uh, St. Pete. No, he just fine. needed to take a little tripsy yeah. to, to Florida and say, hey, Giselle, it's me, Giorgio. Sure. You've probably heard of me. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it could have gone from there. So it could have. I'm, I'm disappointed that she went with... Um, Possibly a striker. Well, now, so yeah, exactly. So what, <laughs> it's also, not the right terminology, of, but I love it. Speaking of Giorgio, happy it. birthday. Oh, shit. Is it no. your birthday, Giorgio? No. Happy 28th, friend. Happy birthday. Happy 28th. Did you get some new Reeboks for your birthday? Oh, those uh, Asics. Those are from the cult. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy, enjoy this, Ross. I will. Yeah. Those are nice. No. Whoa, what is it? What do we got there? Oh, got Young Grape. Whoa, um, hang on, hang on. Don't leave back, the room. Back, back. Don't He's leave back. the room. No, no, don't leave the room. Is this real, dude? He's got his hand on her tit. Young Gravy is with Lisa Ann. We oh, already know that, boy. though. I did not know that. Oh. I did not know that. Oh. That is crazy, dude. That's Giorgio. Giorgio. Well, Giorgio, Giorgio had a shot knew. at that. He has shot at that title. Giorgio knew. I, I wonder, will we ever get the real story out of you one day? Is that going to be a sit down? It's like he lost Giselle. I know. He lost Lisa. I mean, yeah. what are we doing? So Delco, by the way, just said you could have beaten up Tom Brady's, or uh, Giselle's boyfriend. Um, Joaquim. Is that what his name is? Whenever it's a, whenever it's a Joaquim, I go Joachim. Mm. I, I go a soft J on that, but and then we know I'm it's also wrong. pretty fluent in Whatever Spanish. Whatever you go, no, we know it's I'm, wrong. I'm pretty fluent in Spanish. So Giorgio, to recap, could have had Lisa Ann. Uh -huh. He also could beat up uh, Giselle's boyfriend. He's making the wrong moves in life, and I don't know how we get him back on track. What say you, Giorgio? Dan, I'm going to need that camera. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at that. Oh, okay. Look at him staring. Look at that. Life is smart. He's eating smart popcorn before noon. Yeah, I don't. I don't wow. Wow. You wow. know, I don't know. I don't know the bit, do but I, I guess he's, do I? No, I guess he's I, I fine. I know this bit. I know he's this fine. bit. I know this bit for sure. Cut back don't to him real quick. Don't over my stuff. Cut back to him real quick, and I'll uh, I'll narrate it. <laughs> ah, there's Giorgio. There's Giorgio mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. 
a young man on the come up who mm -hmm. lost his come up. Lisa Ann, porn star, gone. Giselle, gone. He's made the wrong life decisions, friends. <laughs> Someday I hope to see him in Say Wantanejo. That's Giorgio right now. Right. We've lost him, and right. he missed out on, well, what could have been his retirement. Two retirement plans back to back. He's fine. And in the meantime, you know, we thought, I thought Skeet was on death watch, mm -hmm. you know, because Giselle is now taken. Uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth is dead. Mm -hmm. You know, he could have moved on to her. And I was like, well, where does he go? We didn't think about this one. And uh, Bob, go ahead and throw up the picture of who he's dating now. There it is. Well, she was married, right? Uh, yes. be I believe so. so Very recently. Yeah, walk uh, me divorced. through this. This is uh, Emily Ratatouille. Ratajkowski. Uh, whatever. It's Ratatouille. Mm -hmm. she's, uh, she's got the little mouse. A supermodel, worldwide famous. Uh, I feel like uh, a lot of people have been with her in the past. Maybe some women, too, at mm. some points. Um, Wasn't she with Cara Devangeline or whatever the fuck her name is? I don't think so. No. no. She was married to uh, some yeah. just a regular dude that was actually homies with Pete Davidson. Oh, what? Good, 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 good. What? Yeah, there's like a Was headline. he a regular dude or was he rich? Was he like he some money. fucking yeah, trust fund Yeah, he was a businessman. He was a businessman type thing. Businessman Bo. Yeah, businessman Bo, is that his name? So they're together, and it's like, fuck me. I mean, the world is freaking out. Like, I don't get it. I don't get any of it. I don't, and every time I see him pop up in a commercial now, because he's okay. doing a lot of commercials. Put up, who, who is this guy? So this is her ex-husband. This right is the here. ex. So like, I guess Whoa. just anyone. He's pretty pimpy. I yeah. don't know. I think this just proves that like anyone could have Emily Ratajkowski. No, uh, that, that guy's a, that's a, a good looking dude, especially he's if he's a super pimpy rich. Dude. Yeah. If that's a pimpy businessman. Yeah, I Wait, get it. Is Rob trying to say he is on par with her ex husband? I'm saying that this is not impressive for Emily Ratajkowski. You're fucking oh, okay. kidding me. If if this okay. guy, what's what's his net worth? If he, if his net worth is huge and he's a businessman and he looks like that. Let's face it. That guy looks like a good-looking linebacker mm -hmm. who was probably on a practice squad who could yeah, be yeah, on The yeah. Bachelor one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very Colton Underwood-ish vibe I'm getting from this dude. Yeah. Like, you can vouch for that, Jesse. That's a good-looking dude, right? Yes. Yes. He yeah. is. Yes. Uh, well, let's not say it that, too. I mean, that's, that's a lot. Jesse. The first thing that comes up is his IMDb Locked. page. Oh, no. Oh, boy. So oh. It's just, this has got to be a trust fund kid. Yeah, because it's just he produced Uncut Gems and then other Uncut stuff. Gems? And then, like, uh, all his other production credits are, like, what, Chillin' Island? Does he bodies, have a, wait, bodies, but does bodies. he have a, oh, Bodies, Executive Bodies, Bodies is, is a big movie. So, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies is Pete Davidson's movie. I oh, my God, it is. It is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this, this, so, this was an independent that came out everywhere. It was even in our local theater here, which is a big theater. So, I know right. what this movie is. So yeah. They went to Knicks games together. Oh my gosh! Is there pictures of that? Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. like of him and Sebastian. Yeah, There's really. Photos. Okay, so then now Coincide. the question is: Wow, is she doing it in revenge? Yeah. Um, what's Homeboy's net worth? Let's is start with there that. Other, he's a trust fund kid. He is. So okay. his dad was a independent film director, and his mom is Lisa Bear, who is also a New York-based filmmaker, writer, photographer. Um, and his dad had apparently grandparents that make it onto uh, onto what Forbes list? No, onto just Google or whatever. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold up. Like yeah. their names are blue, you know. Yeah. This, so it's old. It's old family money is what yeah. we're okay. looking at here. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, he he fits that bill, right? The practice squad guy. That, exactly what I said. <laughs> and um, from what I understand, they it was filed a, for divorce in September. So this is quick. Wow. And I think it was a little wow. a little something something on, on, on his side. So this sounds a little bit like a re a revenge. Craig gave 900 90 sorry, 99 dollars. Dollars and 99 cents for Giorgio. Happy happy birthday happy Giorgio. Happy birthday Giorgio. Happy Buy birthday. all the drugs, do all the things from Craig. By no. the way, Craig, new baby. Let's calm it down. God. Unless you're that rich He's and apparently got it. Craig's he is. got it, dude. Craig uh, won the lottery. A lot of, not a lot of people know that. I mean, he, he won is the lottery. so rich. It's insane. It is insane. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this has got to be a revenge bone. All right, so let me change my stance then. Um, because once this is over, this will be short-lived, right? 
Yeah. Um, this isn't going to be a thing forever of, of you're dating your homie's ex-wife. Right. And that's going to be cool. This will probably yeah, go yeah, yeah, yeah. three to four months. Uh, go past the holidays. It'll be a fun thing. You can get the press out of that. January is where people stop caring about everything um, and go back to reality where they're like, oh, shit. What the fuck did I do? So someone's saying in here that um, he did cheat on her. And uh, that's why they got divorced. Mm. And so a real good she if Pete's on Emily Ratajkowski, huh? right. And no. if Pete's down for it, you yep. know that's a that's a pretty cool thing to do for your friend. You know, p- apparently she's he's team Emrata. I have a theory. You know, yeah. Oh uh, god. All right. So I think this just kind of shows how terrible everyone in L.A. and New York are. Yeah. When yeah. they only go to Pete Davidson. I mean, obviously because of the hog, but. Mm. Apparently he's like a really nice guy. Right. Like so they just gravitate towards him because he's nice. Nice, low self esteem, you know, not gonna be a big huge dick to you, yeah. I guess. Well, he is gonna be He's gonna have one, huge, but he's not gonna he's be gonna one. He's gonna give a big huge dick to you. Yeah, he's but... gonna have one, he's not gonna be one. Right. Do you know what I mean? Right, Which right, is right. the dream. Yeah. That's the dream. I have one, but I'm not one. 